Hello everyone, it's your girl me Viva and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Life is Strange Before the Storm. So it's been a couple of months since we've seen this game. So if you're new to my channel or you just completely missed it, I played the original Life is Strange, like the first one, and I also play Life is Strange Before the Storm. If you missed it or you want to go back and watch it, I will have the links to both of those playlists down in the description of this video for y'all to check out. You should go back and watch it if you haven't. It's a beautiful game. I absolutely love it, and I know y'all will love it as well. So I completed Life is Strange Before the Storm, but today, just now, they released the bonus episode called Farewell. And we're going to play it. And the only way you could play the bonus episode is if you purchase the deluxe edition, which I did. So, yeah. So, I played episode one, Awake, episode two, Brave New World, and episode three, Hell is Empty. If y'all know, if you watch me play this game, you know that I absolutely fell in love with Rachel Amber, y'all. Like, I love that girl, okay? And it's just sad of all the stuff that happened to her. But anyways, we're going to play the new episode which is the bonus episode, which is called Farewell. And I think we're going to be playing as a young Chloe and Max. So we're going to see what this is about. I want to get this knocked out in one video. So hopefully y'all sit back. You got your snacks. I don't know how long this is going to be, but we're going to play into the end and just get it on out of the way, y'all. So let's see what it's about. I need to restart it because I kind of messed up. So we're going to restart and we're going to see what's going on in this episode. I'm so excited, y'all. I miss Life is Strange. Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. <laughs> Just why? Why? <laughs> this is cute, though. Look at them, young Max and Chloe. <laughs> Tell me that wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! I'm gonna say you're insane. You're insane! That explosion was massive! You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. Feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over now. In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? I better help Chloe with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. So they went way back in time to back when Max is about to leave Arcadia Bay and go to Seattle. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Kloenstein's okay. Okay. 
Oh, y'all, the nostalgia. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. I really hope that they do like a life. I really hope they do like a Life is Strange 2, like a sequel. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right. Back to the junk mines. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever. And I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. Should we trash it? I guess so. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Dang, she was very aggressive about that dag on board game. Okay. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty glowy bear. I mean, it was missing pieces. I thought it wouldn't be trash. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. I'm pretty sure this is going to end, like, very sadly, and I'm not ready. Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. Should this be trash? I don't know. She might want that. Whoa. Talk about embarrassing. I'm gonna say it's trash. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. But dang, Chloe, you're not throwing away anything. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. I don't want to talk to her quite yet. Do we miss anything else over here? No. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE though. Wow, this is completely different than her grades in high school, that's for sure. Should we lie down? I guess so. Let's do that. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? 
She's the one who's always starting things, pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. This is really sad. All right, we're gonna get up now. Her room was a little bit more girlier back then, I <laughs> see, and I noticed. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. Hmm. So Chloe's dad is still alive at this point. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. Mm -hmm. So it says, to the parents of Chloe Price. Dear parents, congratulations. Your child, Chloe Price, has been accepted for September 2008 admission to Blackwell Academy. We have offered places to approximately 100 students out of 1,200 applicants. Your child excelled in all criteria for admission. An open house for admitted students and parents will be held on March 26. April 2nd is the deadline to inform us of your intentions regarding admission. Your admission reply form is included. For those who require financial aid, please contact Blackwell's Office of Financial Assistance. We look forward to welcoming you and Chloe to the Blackwell Academy family. Sincerely, Marco S. Gonzalez. Director of Admissions. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just, I like hanging out with normal people. Like, you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean, I, I hate fake people. You're real. Thanks. So this Chloe is completely different from the Chloe we know. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Hmm, she got something from the Prescotts. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. 
Why do you care? Why do I care? If you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <sighs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Chloe is a trip. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. Hmm, I doubt it. She always gonna be taller than you. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. We're not gonna lick that thing. No, 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 no. Your mom and your dentist will thank me. <sighs> so lame. Just so lame. Could have got sick <laughs> licking that thing. Who knows how long they've been in there? Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think. She... What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Hmm, why would you throw away this hoodie but want to keep everything else? Oh, I missed this. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things or despite it. I think we got everything. I think we did. All right. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and... Tell her later. Tell her now or tell her later? Oh, ooh, why, why, why? I'm gonna go and do tell her later so we can enjoy the day first, right? Let's tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever! This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> A vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain, Captain Bluebeard, Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Silver! You were such dorks. <laughs> You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek. In mine eyes, spot two fair pirate wenches. <laughs> what? Yeah, two way. We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned, 
The journey will be treacherous and full <laughs> of treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And... Uh... Why? <laughs> Dude. That was... Hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. <laughs> we still are. Okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. Oh goodness, here we go. Property of Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. Keep out, Mom. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now oh, look at them, how cute. <laughs> oh goodness. This is just the best episode. Pogo the pirate, the gang. I'm done. <laughs> really? And it said, pirate rules, no bathing, no boys on the ship, no sharing pirate secrets, always share plunder. Did that say plunder? Yeah, it does. Always bury treasure, always protect fellow pirates. Failure to obey these rules will result in plank walking. Okay. I definitely can't read this one. Well, maybe I can. Maybe I should try. Yeah. Captain's Log. Another day of plunder and destruction on the high seas. Our just buried treasure has come under attack again. The evil commander Shelley, enemy to all pirates, has threatened to take the map from us if she sees it. Surely she has heard how valuable our treasure is and wants to steal it from us. We are doing our best to keep the map hidden as we continue to work on it. Because our enemies want our treasure so bad. We must make sure the map is only readable to us, Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver. To more plunder and riches, Captain Bluebeard, Long Max Silver. Oh. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Might be. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right. Time to find this map. Mm. Okay. Oh, we already looked at it. <sighs> Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Maybe. Anywhere else we could look? Backpack? People say a oh, lot no. of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. Well, that's not what I meant to do then. Make your own story. Mm. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. I wanted to see if it will make us like look in the pile of clothes, but never mind. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Bingo. Okay, 
so we have Chloe's secret lair, the dark cavern, the amulet is, I guess, inside of the dark cavern. Uh, we have Treasure Island and Price Castle. This is so cute. I'm remembering this now. Didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet, which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. <laughs> it's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean, the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I can't. Chloe seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay. Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Darn it, I didn't get to do the rest of that stuff in there. I didn't know it was going to be in the first option that I picked. Chloe's room has always been home base. It's hard to think this might be the last game we ever plan here. Aw, oh, darn it, I done missed out on some stuff. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time? I just don't get it. The entrance to the dark cavern is in there. Bluebeard's chosen hiding place for the mysterious amulet. Well, I thought that was the... Yeah, that's the broom closet. That's what I thought. There it is. The dark cavern. Crap. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Maybe this will make me tall enough to reach. Before I do this, I want to see if there's like anything else I could like explore. Can I go around the rest of the house? I've got to find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. That's what I thought, okay. I just wanna look around first before we do that. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I thought that was a dog. Oh, we could use this too, okay. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Chloe's parents are so cute. They are cute. Sadly, her dad dies. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Hmm. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. 
I wonder what about. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Price. I would like to begin by saying we are thrilled to have Chloe at Blackwell. Rest assured, her scholarship is not in jeopardy at this time. However, it seems that she's having trouble transitioning into this new, more challenging environment. I'm emailing to set up a time to talk about the incident that occurred last week. I'm very concerned that Chloe's behavior... I'm very concerned about Chloe's behavior and would like to work with you to take steps to correct it as soon as possible. I'm sure you are as dedicated to Chloe's success here as we are. The future needs excellence. The future needs excellence. Regards, Ray Wells. Did Chloe get into a fight? She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. Ray, Chloe was not the only student to act out that day, and if you ask me... Marissa Rogers isn't the victim, she's the bully. Maybe if both sides of the stories were heard before placing blame, your school would be a less challenging environment for your students. Focus on your school. I'll focus on my daughter, William Price. Dang, okay. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. These types of people are exactly why I didn't want Chloe at Blackwell. We'll figure this out, I promise. Uh, oh, I forgot to read the one at the bottom. <laughs> I forgot to tell you Mrs. Rogers called while we were out yesterday and left a message. It's still on the answering machine, but please be careful when you listen to it. I don't want Chloe to overhear. You need to figure out how to handle this. I know the principal said her scholarship isn't in danger, but I still worry. Who is this Marissa chick and her parents? Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Finally, use your pressure washer today, and I just wanted to say thanks again for letting me borrow it. Works like a charm. It's not our dream house, but now it can at least be the right color. If you want to come over next weekend and give me a hand, there will be a cold beer in it for you. Give me a call. Hope everything at work is still going well, and tell Linda I say hello. William. Okay. Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Wow. <sighs> So cool. Hmm. What are they going to Phoenix for? Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Oh, they going to the Grand Canyon. Okay. Most strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? Awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. All right. This won't be big enough for me to reach, but maybe I can stack things on top of it. Maybe like the crate? Take it. I think I'll need to stack a few things to get up high enough. A few things? My goodness. Maybe this will make me tall enough to reach. Almost there. I just need one more thing. Hmm. What am I missing? So I went in there. So, well, I went in there before I was supposed to. Can't use the toolbox, can we? What else could we use? I was thinking about the toolbox, but it don't look like we can move that at all. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago. But Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. Hmm. Books, maybe? Okay, here we go. If I stack a bunch of books on the stool, I could probably reach the attic. struggles of being short. I'm all about that life. I know the struggle really well. <laughs> I think that should be tall enough. That looks dangerous. 
She gonna break something. Oh Lord. Just be careful, Max. Be careful. There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. That's crazy that of that's still Of course Chloe here. hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. The amulet looks kind of cool from the side. Of course this thing will still be up here. We could see, wait, wrong button, this. So, oh, we have to fulfill everything on the map. This is so cute. A note from Chloe and Max, get the amulet. Okay, so we got that. Well, we getting that. We, we on this part, okay. <laughs> wait, actually, go back to that. Okay, so all that stuff from this point. Okay. All right, so now we gotta move stuff. It's a crib up here. No Sharpie boob jobs. Hm. Disappointing. You like boobs, Max? Hm? Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. Yo, I remember the land before time. That was my movie as a kid. Isn't that that dinosaur movie? I can't get through with this chair here. I think I can squeeze through now. Wait, what just happened? I feel like we teleported or something. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. We're not gonna move it quite yet. I'm gonna keep looking. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. What kind of name is Calico Jack? That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. All right, so where'd that thing at again? I lost where it was, honestly. I think we just gotta pull this dresser. I need to move that desk, but this dresser is in the way. One step closer. I've gotta get through, which means this desk has gotta move. Pretty heavy. All right, so what are we gonna do? I never realized how much I liked vintage things. This cooler is awesome. Glad this thing is empty. Right, 
Did we do anything? That took long enough. A fitting reward for a journey full of treasures. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And Spiders. Ha <laughs> I have you now, Skellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Are you just watching me up there, Creeper? Let's share our feelings. You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend. That's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. On my way. This is so cute, y'all. So cute. No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. Mm-hmm, but I want to look at everything first. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. One time, we stuck a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on was a lot more fun than taking it off. I bet it hurt. I know that for sure. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. I thought she was trying to quit. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. It's so weird we're at different schools now. Oh, they don't even... Well, yeah, she go to Blackwell now, never mind. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. Max didn't get into Blackwell until after the fact. Until she came back like five years later. I've spent so much of my life here. 
Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. These games we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this why I keep pushing off telling Chloe I'm leaving? Because I don't want to ruin this time together. How am I going? What's up, dude? Bro. Don't you mean sis? Actually, I meant we. Dork. Punk. Punks are cool. You know what, Max Caulfield? What, Chloe Price? You're the frickin' best. That's all. Talk about mushy. Where'd that come from? It's just thinking about how awesome this day is and how awesome we are. Okay, enough of this shit. There's treasure to be unburying. Oh, the feels, y'all. The feels. Ah, oh, it's gonna get me very emotional, I know. What else have I missed? I can't wait to see what we're supposed to do with the amulet. Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it how I lost my magnifying glass privileges. Great art is never appreciated. Why that remind me of Toy Story? <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's rum for me. Do you? Drink this? Yar. No, not really. I had to fish an empty bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Alright, before we even get on the whole swing set, let's look around for everything else. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> The fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. Hmm, I believe you. I did that in school before. Oh, I wish this was big enough to jump in. It's only September. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. That she won't be here for. All I'm saying is. I've never broken my wrist taking a picture. I'm really gonna miss Price Family Barbecues. All right, let's do all this swing set stuff. This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, I can. I never understood why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? That's a good point, Max. I don't understand that either. Glider swings. The best way to simulate a storm on the high seas. Funny to me. <laughs> I wish I could freeze this moment and never have to leave it. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Walk the plank. Perfect. 
can we do another one nope okay let's uh look at this so we have bring chloe to the amulet and the pictures that we're taking are actually showing up on this that's what i'm just noticing now so got that and the pirate flag okay wait just a minute Yar! you must ask permission before setting foot or peg on another captain's boat permission to come aboard captain bluebeard Grrr, one amulet coming right up okay uh i, th I think it goes <sighs> damn it i forget how to make this stay on stay here I think I saw some tape. Thanks, Max. Just some tape left between us and the treasure. Where do you see tape? I don't rem- Oh, the blue tape. I was like, girl, I ain't see that up there. <laughs> Are you ever gonna get your kite down from the roof? It was unhappy in captivity. I set it free. You must be a hero to kites everywhere. All right, so... Tape is over here. Score! One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. Alright. Here you go, Chloe. Should we speak or give her tape? Let's speak first. If you told me this morning that we'd be spending the day as pirates, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah. Probably look like a loser, huh? Chloe, you could never be a loser. Even if you tried. Oh yeah, the best friend code requires you say that. It's just, this whole day has made me feel like a little kid again. I can't believe we were eight and nine when we planned this. I can. This tiny kid's head is squeezing the shit out of my head. <laughs> well, treasures don't find themselves. Lead the way. That was hilarious. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were going to be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. <sighs> Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Oh, okay. no. This drawing is supposed to line up with something. I use R to move the telescope and LB and RB to spin the lens. I guess it's supposed to be flat like this. But. Is it to the. No, that ain't to that, is it? No, that don't make sense. But I feel like. I think the drawing should turn the real world into something priority. Hmm. Well, this is very different. 
That's for sure. I feel like, wait, oh, it's upside down, duh. That's a boat. I think I have the right angle, but where does it line up? I don't know. Maybe right there kind of ish. No. I'm so close. I just need to keep looking. Got it. <laughs> yes, you rock. Where is it? Here? Uh, right. Okay, take a step right. Oh, not that no, right. No, <laughs> the other right. My other right or your other right? My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Just go that way. Perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. What is that? What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Her dad. Uh -huh. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. How cute is he? He deserves a Father of the Year award. That's so sweet of him to do. <laughs> Walkers, <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary, I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. To Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. 
<laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you are so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine? Oh my god, y'all. I told you it was gonna get me in my feelings. Oh my god, okay. Dear Chloe, how are you today? I am doing very well. It is Friday, June 27, 2003. It is summer vacation. We are making a time castle for you and me in the future. We are making it pirate theme. Wasn't it hilarious to find? These are some things we like. Favorite animal. Arabian horse. Max. Otter. Chloe. Number two. Favorite food. Lobster roll. And coffee ice cream. Three, favorite class in school, art or library, and science for Chloe, of course. Number four, best friend, each other, both of them. How about you? Are you age 12 or more? What are your favorite foods, movies, etc.? That's all for now. I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Sincerely, Maxine Clawfield. <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. Oh gosh, what do it say? Dear Maxine, hello from 2003. Here is a record of how we spend our days. Can you guess which one is real? Number one, we go to the same school and always sit together at lunch. Duh. Number two, we have sleepovers at least once a week. Number three, we like extremely salty pretzels. Number four, we are in a race to see who can convince your parents to get a pet first. Number five, we are going to live together when we can afford it and use only gold paint. <laughs> really? <laughs> Number six, we have battled many foes and never failed to save each other. What did you guess? If you guess all of them, you are right. Our friendship forever. Chloe Elizabeth Price. This is so cute. You were really sweet. Oh man, I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. I want to look at everything. So do I. It's good to see you, old friend. Those letters were really cute. It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Is writing once a week too often? Will I run out of things to say? A time cap. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. I think something was being said, but I was pressing the button at the same time, so... Can I see this? That right there. Hold up. Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. <laughs> really? Blue pen. We used to read every issue from cover to cover. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. The snow globe. This bring back some memories. There. Now you've got something pretty to look at. Okay. Anything else we could look at? It's a lot of stuff we could look at. Um, let's go this way. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe outnerds me. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe outnerds me. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. 
I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. I really love this photo so much. Her dad was cute. That was a good week. I used every possible excuse to be here for breakfast. I remember seeing this in the original. Good luck, hubby. We're so proud of your promotion. You get a week of two well waffles in your own house. Your loving wifey. Yeah, I remember a lot of this stuff. I always look especially short next to Chloe. I mean, she is taller than you, Max. This is probably the last thing Chloe's mom wants to see after a shift at the diner. Much better. Somebody's a goody two shoes. I mean, you don't want your mom be all mad at you, do you? Anything else we could look at? Oh, this. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I guess compared to that, Seattle's not so far. These used to make great pirate swords. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it, but if Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. Mm, before we press that, because she's obviously going to hear it, let's uh, look at some other stuff. I bet there's some really cute photos in there. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. That's cute. We just want to keep doing happy things. Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? It's really old TV. Chloe and I have been friends for so long. Maybe I'm worrying too much about this move changing things. This is the cutest picture. They like little cookies. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They grew up so much from this year to the next year after that. Cute pictures. I love them. Ah, keep messing up my picture. There are no mistakes in art. Wait. Hold on, hold up. You sure were troublesome to find. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel bad about it. I could use this to recreate that old photo of Chloe. Yes. Pose for a photo with that. Okay, tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. <laughs> like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving. Really cute, Chloe. You're not so bad yourself. All right, let's look at that. Talk to Chloe. Now we got that picture there. Okay. And her allowance and all this stuff. Okay. I still haven't told Chloe about my news. I, I can do that after I finish looking at everything. Man, I really want to play that message, but I don't want to ruin it quite yet, y'all. I don't want to ruin it, I know. <laughs> uh, let's look at Chloe. 
Chloe looks so content when she's drawing. Is that what I look like when I'm taking pictures? Should we sit on the couch first? This used to be the rainy day pirate ship. See, this I don't know. You're such a space hog. Move over. Nope. This is so cute. She's not gonna talk or say anything. She's just enjoying the moment. I'll let her enjoy the moment. Oh, you remember those pens, that blue pen at the bottom and it had all the different colors on the side and you push it down and it's a different color. I remember those pens. I wish this moment could last forever. I miss that pen. That was the best pen in the whole wide world. All right, let's get up. All right, I feel like we should speak to her. Oh, we could do another photo. Uh, pose with Chloe, photograph Chloe alone. Let's pose with her. Take a break for a second. This artist waits for no stop. That was worth stopping for. All right, so we got that as well. Cute little photos. I'm loving all of this. Did we get anything different? Nope, okay. All right, let's speak to her. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? I'm gonna say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. <laughs> what the heck? What tattoo am I getting? A heart with my initials? Duh. Oh. Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once our parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She didn't like me getting mushy just now. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Oh my god. I just. This is the type of person. I don't like to tell like bad news and it might hurt somebody. So I just like to push stuff off. So we still not going to tell her quite yet. I want to see what else happens. But it might be a bad thing to not tell her. I don't know. I don't know. Don't tell her. Don't tell her. Okay. What's the plan? I'm taking you to the beach. We haven't been since school started. Yeah, that's true. It's gonna feel different now though. Why? Because we're pirates again. We can't go to a beach without taking it over or at least making a hideout. <laughs> so, you wanna do that? Make a hideout? <laughs> yeah. One that's really tucked away so people won't mess with it or even see it. I know exactly where we could put it. You know those two rocks right by the grassy part? Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Oh, man. We could probably make it big enough to keep things there. Like a food stash and, and towels and stuff? Yeah, and a flashlight and maybe blankets so we can go there at night. 
I bet that would be beautiful. One day, I want to see glowing sand. Ah, oh, me too. My dad saw it once with my mom. He said their feet made blue fluorescent footprints. Oh my god. I want to take a picture of that so bad. Oh, you have to. We can go every night to make sure we don't miss it. <laughs> I'm so excited! We're gonna have the coolest pirate hangout ever. Just like we always talked about. Yeah, and it would just be for us. Exactly. Our own little place. Oh, this is so awesome! <laughs> Let's get some snacks and go scope it out. Her dad died. Oh no, here go the emotions. I wanna know what would have happened if we would have listened to the voicemail. But they had a fight, or she had been crying already, then she had to hear more bad news. Oh, that's really sad. I think this is where her dad left to go get her mom and go to the grocery store or something like that. That's that part. When we wasn't able to stop it. really sad. And she had to leave the very same day. That's really sad. No wonder why Chloe turned out the way she did. But does that mean that she still never knew and we just left her like that? Yo, this is sad. Maybe we should have told her we had two chances. Now I feel bad. Can I go back and change my options? At least we get to see more of why Chloe turned out the way she did and why she's now the way she is. to Seattle. We're 
leaving today. My dad got a job there, and I, I don't know when I'll be back. I didn't want to go. It wasn't up to me, and it was all so sudden, and I still kind of can't believe it's really happening. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you. I'm so, so sorry. I hated thinking about us being apart. And I, I, I didn't want you to have to think about it too. I didn't want to see you sad. Chloe, listen, even if I never, even if we're moving for good, You're my best friend. I will always, always love you. <sighs> Goodbye. Oh, my heart. My heart right now. I feel so guilty for not telling her now. I didn't want to see her sad either. See, I'm just like Max. I didn't want her to be sad because then it would have been like double sadness. Then it would turn to triple sadness. Oh my gosh. All right, y'all. So that is the end of the bonus episode, Farewell. Let me know if you would have told Chloe that she was moving in the comment section below. I had two chances and I just, I couldn't bring myself to do it. Maybe I will replay this on my own time and see what difference it would have made if I would have told her. Because it was basically like three chances. Like you had two chances to tell her and then you could have listened to the voicemail. But I didn't listen to it because she wasn't supposed to hear it. And she was like sitting right there. So I didn't play it. So I might replay this like off camera. But let me know what decisions y'all would have made. I really enjoyed it. It was a good farewell episode. It was a really good bonus episode. It wasn't too bad. It wasn't as long as, you know, the other episodes, of course. But it's cool. I loved it. So now we're completely done with Life is Strange Before the Storm. And hopefully they come out with a Life is Strange 2 sometime in the future. Because, you know, I will be back to play it to see whatever happens to Max and Chloe. But I don't know if they're going to make one. But anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like this video up if you haven't already. And subscribe to my channel if you're new. Follow all those links down below. And I will see y'all in my next video.